there is nothing either difficult or complex in the concept of responsible fishing. It is just a matter of being a little more careful while we go for fishing, storing and bringing back catch safely to the shore. We should learn to accept respectfully what our noble mother so generously gives us. Let us take a look at how we can adhere to these good habits and concepts while doing our job. Make sure that the nets that we use are eco-friendly. There are many types of nets available that are easier to use or will bring in more catch. But many of this harms a lot of small fish, breeders and other sea creatures which will be useful if they are allowed to grow. These indiscriminate irresponsible fishing practices deplete the nature's wealth beyond repair. Not only are the resources wasted, but also lead to collapse of fishing in the long run. So, follow the eco-friendly methods of fishing to have an evergreen catch. Two types of nets, namely the gill net and long line should be used, which does not plunder the sea and selectively catch the target varieties. Use only the mesh sizes that are advocated by the government. You must ensure trawl cod end mesh size to be 35 millimeters. You can adopt new techniques like square mesh in trawl net to avoid catching juvenile fishes. Avoid trawling on nursery grounds breeding grounds of marine organisms. By catch reduction devices, BRD, a square mesh panel in the trawl net allows escape of juveniles. In addition, square mesh reduces dragging of the fishing net and by the way, saves fuel in the fishing operation. Turtle excluder device Fitted with the trawl net minimizes the evil effect of trawl net by allowing the turtle to escape even if it is caught accidentally. Do not catch or harm sea turtles, marine mammals and protected animals. One of our friends in the sea is the sea turtle. Moreover, they are endangered animals and protected by the 1972 Indian Wildlife Protection Act. Marine turtles play an important role in keeping the sea clean by feeding on the decaying materials and other vegetation of the sea. We should take extra care never to harm these interesting animals. When we use unauthorized fishing nets, these creatures get caught in it. Keep the beach and nesting areas tidy. Don't dump garbage on the beach. Some take pleasure in killing these poor creatures. Please. Don't.
never collect turtle eggs for food. Out of thousands of eggs laid by the mother turtle, only few survive and become adults. Never buy things made of any part of turtle as this is an offence under the Indian Wildlife Protection Act. Avoid juvenile fishing. It is our responsibility to protect the riches from the sea, at least for our future generations. That is why it is vital that we preserve and let go the juvenile fish and other unwanted creatures back to the natural habitats safely. There, they will grow and will become the catch for our children. If we do not do this, it will be robbing our children of what they rightfully should have. Remember, today's juvenile you leave behind makes tomorrow's wealth. Avoid destructive fishing practices. Explosives. Fishing with explosives, also known as blast fishing. Explosions can produce fairly large craters devastating 10 to 20 square meters of bottom. The explosion kills both the target fish and the accompanying coral reefs mercilessly. Explosives can have very serious consequences for the resources, the environment and unfortunately also for the users themselves. <laughs>